everybody thank you so much for tuning in now I'm just gonna talk to my girls in this video all right so fellas I know these things happen to you but they happen to my girls much more than it happens to y'all and you know you know it I know we all know so let's just keep it real now girlfriends have y'all ever had that girlfriend that always ends up with this low life no good low down dirty lying cheating man and if she leave that one and end up with another low life, low down, no good, dirty, lying, cheating man. Or perhaps you were that girl. But I ain't mad at you. I ain't mad at nobody. Because I done had a couple, a few, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, low down, no good, dirty, rotten, cheating, lying men myself. Okay? So I ain't mad at nobody. But I'm just wondering, is this a precedence that we set for our lives oftentimes? You know, and we repeat the same patterns over and over again. You know, it's like what happens in the church world. Some low-life preacher come up talking about, we need a first fruit now. Oh, no, no, we need a tithe on top of a tithe. And an offering on top of an offering and a building fund and a this day and a that what day and now we have this program and that program and it's gonna cost this much and just over and over again and we submit to this kind of stuff over and over again and so like the man that is doing this to his woman you know his attitude is well huh she ain't gonna leave me mm. I make love to her so good she ain't gonna never leave me which is by the way ain't love no how if you if you're cheating and lying that ain't love you just releasing yourself you know what I'm saying but wait a minute oh 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 y'all y'all ain't know I knew nothing about that huh you thought oh this is a Christian station we don't well, I don't know nothing about that uh, uh, whatever so you know and and so the the preachers say oh we need this now we need that mm -hmm. and I uh oh I preach to them people so good mm. They ain't going to never leave this ministry. And, and if they do, uh, it, yeah, I, it's, there's more where that came from, you know. But anyway, and so this precedence has been set, I believe, in a church world where we repeat the same patterns and accept the same foolishness over and over again because of the precedence that has been set. And it's only going to stop when somebody says, oh, no, I'm not going to have this for my life any longer uh you know i am not going to be um lied to and manipulated on a continual basis you know like i have been and it and the buck stops right here right now thank y'all so much for tuning in and be blessed